I have shared the bulk of what I consume dietary wise. It has been requested of me to show what I get when I go food shopping. So I've just returned from picking up some essentials and I thought I would show you what I get. This is very typical of what I pick up. Two green cabbages and you can see one purple cabbage there. Red radishes, some extra virgin olive oil. I got my favorite onion seaweed. That's just dried nori seaweed that I eat. That uh, baby spring mix was actually free with an in-store app coupon thing uh, that I scanned on my phone. So I got that completely free. Thought I would uh, try it out. It looked really fresh anyway. So that was a bonus. <laughs> Parsley, one bunch. A pack of romaine lettuce. I got five cans of wild sardines, my favorite. Two cod liver in its own oil. My favorite tea, which is this rosehip and hibiscus tea. Um, I either drink this or my green tea throughout the day. I actually cut off green tea at around noon because I'm sensitive to caffeine. So I drink this um, in the interim. I needed some salt, so I picked up salt, a red onion, three avocados. I eat one avocado a day. I always say an avocado a day keeps the doctor away. <laughs> Beef liver. Three cans of wild pink uh, salmon. Um, I like this because it has the bones and the skin, which I like, and it's convenient too. But I like canned fish because the soft bones contain a lot of calcium and trace minerals, and I chew them up and eat them. So it's really nutritious that way. And like I said, convenient. This is my favorite mustard. I picked up a pack of pig's feet, cooked octopus legs, and some grass-fed neck bones, and two dozen pasture-raised eggs. Last but not least, I picked some fresh Brussels sprouts, raspberries, two pints of blueberries, and a bar of my favorite chocolate. So this is just very typical of what I buy. It's very simple, <laughs> but nutritious and delicious. And it's because I eat these foods that I don't have a want for uh, anything that's non-nutritive, so to speak. I don't like to use the word junk food because I think all food is good food. Uh, but in a manner of health, I like to feel my best and look my best and eating these foods on a daily basis enable me to uh, not only uh, look and feel my best, but it helps regulate my moods and um, things that are very important that I think people often dismiss and don't give diet enough credit for. But I will say that once you start consuming nutrient dense foods in your diet and your body gets acclimated to that, not only do cravings for non-nutritive foods disappear because you're obtaining all your necessary minerals and vitamins from these foods, it doesn't have to be these specific foods, but I'm speaking of nutrient dense foods. Not only do your cravings go away, but because of the way that you feel when, because of the way I feel when I consume these, I don't have a want to consume anything that's out of my regular diet because I want to be, I want to be optimized <laughs> in my functioning. So this is what enables me to do it. This diet is a high performance longevity diet. And so that's what I'm interested in. I'm interested in not only longevity, but uh, what Peter Atia is always calling health span, which is the quality of life that we live, not just how long we live. So I will leave you with that. I'm going to put my groceries away and be well, everyone. Thank you for watching.